use Lightroom to color grade your video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. So I was messing around on Lightroom and I kind of came up with this. Um, I'm gonna get straight to it. So if you've ever been on Instagram before, so you've got the John Olson look, uh, everything's kind of got this teal and orange as they call it, the Sam Calder look, pretty much the same kind of style. Now teal and orange is not a, a new trend at all. Movies from dating years back, majority of cinematic movies that you watch nowadays have this kind of teal and orange look. The science behind teal and orange is that they're very opposing colors. Their contrast is so massive and the benefit is obviously that our skin is orange and it has this kind of orange kind of feel. So the teal being in the shadows and the orange being in the highlight really accentuates the photo. This is why it has some form of appeal to us. Yes, the grass is green and the grass is not orange. However, this is such an attractive look. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it. Um, it's done in Lightroom. I'm gonna put links below where you can download the Lightroom trial if you don't have Lightroom. Lightroom, I think now for photographers is like $9 a month. And uh, yeah, you get Lightroom, the latest version, and you also get Photoshop, which you, I, I don't really use Photoshop, but I do have it. So let me show you quickly, it's super simple. If you open your Lightroom, you're gonna see it's gonna look exactly like this, right? You can actually close everything, your basic. Um, if you wanna see how basic works, I'm gonna put a, a link in the description below and you can actually watch a tutorial on basic, but you don't even need that for this. You literally need four sliders. So what you do is you take your, you go right down to the bottom and there's something that says camera calibration. You go right down. The reason I actually found this out was I always use my blue saturation um, and I push it up and it gives my photographs this very vibrancy pop and it looks so natural and real. And I accidentally pushed my hue up and I was like, wow, that was weird. And then I took it down and I saw this look. Now this is what you do. You take your blue primary and you push it right down. Okay. And um, you don't need green primary or shadows and things like that. Um, and you take your red primary. This is kind of give you that uh, orange look. It, it changes it to the orange and obviously you don't have to go all the way on neither one do you have to go all the way and every single image is going to differ however um, generally what I would do is even if you want to push it like majority of the way the next thing to play with is just the saturation of each one okay so what you do is you take your saturation and uh, you drop it down a bit and you drop it down a bit over there and kind of give it the look that you want and you immediately get this teal and orange look. And it's so, so simple. If you really wanted to go ahead now and start doing more to your photographs, um, you know, and play in the basic section and kind of get that cool pop and you can really go all out, but it's not needed. So I'm gonna move to the next photo quickly. Right, so this is the next photo. Um, it was actually taken with my GoPro. I actually took it back and I was trying to film uh, when I was in Sun City. So it's a bit dark, so I'm just gonna lift the shadows and kind of make it look like it should have looked. I know it's not clear at all. It wasn't meant to be a shot, but just to show you, I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did on the previous photos, even the same kind of saturation feel. And uh, I lifted the shadows way too much, so I'm just going to drop the blacks. And there you got that look. So, before, after, before, after, and um, I'm not going to go through all of these. But there is something that I'm going to show you that is totally cool, that you can actually use Lightroom to color grade your video. Watch this. Okay, so I don't know if you've watched this video. This was our latest little edit that we did with a model road trip. So the whole thing was done in Final Cut. I didn't use it at all to um, color grade in Lightroom. It was all color graded in, in um, Final Cut and it was absolutely terrible. I hate color grading. And uh, anyway, so this is the shot. Um, it's a screenshot from the video. And I'm gonna do exactly the same. And you can see, yeah, you've immediately kind of got this really, really funky teal and orange look, okay? Now, if you go to video, if you upload a video into um, Lightroom, you'll see it's not supported. You have to go into the library module and I can click play and I can just skim through. Okay, so that's part of the video. Now watch this. I went and I color graded this in the develop module. This is just a screenshot from the actual video. You can upload any screenshot, you can upload any photo. You just need an image that you apply these color grading settings, right? So let's color grade it. Now what I do is I hold in my shift button on my keyboard. You can see over here at the bottom, I am selected on this photo. 
holding shift and I click on the video, right? And then you right click and you say develop settings and sync settings. I just use the keyboard shortcut. And only the ones that are actually highlighted actually work. And the cool thing is calibration is part of the settings that you can actually, so you can't do like adjustment brushes and sync it to a video, it won't work. But in terms of exposure, contrast, um, your white clipping, saturation, and most importantly, color calibration, you can do it. So I'm gonna click synchronize, watch the video, um, because there we go, it's just changed. So now I'm gonna hit back to the video, go to the library module, and click play. I'm gonna skim through. Absolutely epic. But um, yeah, here's another image. Let me quickly do it for you. So hit the develop module. It's also a screenshot from a video. Ideally, th this form of color grading, um, if you can call it that in the camera calibration, works best with an image that is not in the flat profile. So now, if I had to do it, um, you'll see it kind of actually looks better than what it did before. So there's before and there's after. Yeah, another one, nice and quick. Let's just rotate this photo. Let's hit it up. Red primary, just push it up somewhere. Let's go all the way. Drop the saturation a bit. Blue primary all the way down. And before, after, boom. That's it, guys. Super simple. I really didn't know that this was possible. And now you can even sync it to your video footage. Yes, you can't do clip by clip um, if your whole video is done. So if you upload individual clips, yes, you can. Um, there's definitely a way to export it. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope I've helped you. And... Uh, yeah, if you want to get that teal and orange look, now you know how the guys do it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good day, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and good night, goodbye.